message this for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds Nice of a Custom video. And right now, I want to talk to you all about the Spider-Man 60th anniversary reveal that we just got from Hasbro Pulse. And I'm going to tell you, bro, it's about time. I'm super excited about a majority of these figures, if not all of them, probably one or two I don't care about. But the rest of them are amazing. And I just wanted to give you my opinions on the reveal. I'm sure a lot of you already seen it. You guys know we specify in Spider-Man customs here. So I love to see new spider figures and new costumes and designs. So let's just jump right into it. One of the most anticipated Spider-Man costumes out there, the Steve Ditko Amazing Fantasy 15 design. And I think it looks great using the what looks like to be the retro Spider-Man buck. But it looks a lot softer, honestly. It seems like a lot of the muscle tone has been toned down and it's a lot smoother in the legs. This one might have toe articulation, but you get four pairs of hands, open hands, thwip, fist, and grip hands alongside some underwings and some web accessories. And I think this is a really cool uh, figure for sure. The box art looks awesome. A lot of people were complaining about the box art. At first, I thought this was more of a concept. I, I didn't know it was, it was the actual box art, but I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. Personally, I would love to see these things on the retro card, but rumor has it they're not using plastic as much. So I'm okay with this nonetheless. Spider-Man Noir, Nicolas Cage as Spider-Man from the Into the Spider-Verse movie, the animated movie. It's a great movie. You guys should check that out. But here's the box art. Again, as I mentioned before, it's no plastic, but this figure looks very spot on to the movie itself. We already have a Spider-Man in the war, but we don't have one like this with the hat and an alternate head and the jackets flaring. And I love the way they threw the comic dots in there. I'm not sure what those comic dots are called, but you know what I mean. Looks good. The jacket flaring out like that is a definite plus for me. I love the collar. It's very long and it looks sleek. You could also take the hat off, which is going to be a plus for a lot of people. He does have the turtleneck that he wears in the movie and I can't wait to see it in person. Then there's the Future Foundation Stealth Suit, another one that looks great. Not too ecstatic about the head because they're just reusing the Spider-Man, the symbiote Spider-Man head from the new retro card. Nonetheless, it still looks good. The paint apps look super clean. Uh, it's on the Sunfire body. I love those bodies, even though it could have been put on the retro body, but I don't mind it being on the Sunfire body. The black and white looks good. Again, Deco is amazing. I'm hoping to see the white one sooner than later anyway. But I'm definitely going to pick this up. The good thing about this one, too, you do get some thwip hands and you get a web accessory. And I think that's pretty good enough for a Spider-Man figure. However, this one isn't pinless like the others. Maybe because it's using the old body. But again, something that's so minuscule that I really don't mind. The Iron Spider with the three legs, butterfly joints. Looks like a new body, but similar to the Sunfire body as well. I believe this one's pinless. The metallic red looks nice. The gold they use look nice. The eye shape looks cool. I'm hoping that the arms articulate enough, but the emblem is sculpted, and I'm really impressed, honestly. I can't complain too much about this figure. I'm actually excited to pick it up. I know a lot of people, when they first saw this figure, were excited. Around this time, I had made an Aaron Davis Iron Spider, so I'm happy for it. Looks great. You don't get that many accessories tooth whip hands and then the legs and that's okay i guess but i would have loved some open hands as well spider-man renew your vows when mary jane and spider-man had a whole spider family there's also a daughter so i'm hoping to get her too um but this looks great i made a custom spinneret a while ago the spider-man looks great it looks like it's on the retro body but with a new paint app and it appears pinless but i like it a lot honestly i look forward to grabbing both of these I always wanted a spinneret figure in my collection. I made one. I just wasn't able to keep it. I had to sell it. You know, now that I look at it, it looks like the legs are pinless, but the arms still have pins. But it does include toe articulation. You do get an unmasked head. This Peter head looks like the one we got a while ago in the two-pack of Mary Jane and the all-new, all-different Spider-Man. But I could be wrong. Head sculpt looks cool, of course. This head also looks like the ultimate Spider-Man head with the eye shape. The webs look more separated than the retro card version. And Spinneret looks good. I don't know what else to say about Spinneret. She looks great. The white looks super clean. If I can get a figure that looks as clean as this one in the promo, then I'll be okay. A lot of people wanted her to use the Moonstone body, but I think this is a Shriek body, so I don't see how far apart they are. 
but it looks great. Then we have this crazy two pack of Null and Venom. Venom with the wings. Movie Venom with a logo on his chest. Psh, I don't know what else to say. Just psh. But it looks good. You do get some accessories. You get the alternate heads. And then Venom has some fist hands as well. Now Venom just looks crazy. Like the teeth look so clean. I don't know if these are painted teeth or they're individually planted in the gum line. It looks great. The tongue is detailed. You have the comic head sculpt. You get the comic emblem. You get some wings, some giant, giant wings. I don't know what else you could ask for. This, If this is not the best Venom figure we get in 2022, then I don't know what to say. You guys are just spoiled. Wings are super like detailed. I'm not sure if these wings came from another figure like Dragon Man or they just a brand new sculpt. I'm going to assume they're a brand new sculpt. But they could be from another figure. Let me know in the comment what you guys think. But I'm happy to get this for sure. The two-pack is going to be pricey, though. Expect to spend 80 bucks for both of them and i know that's i know it's like whoa but just for those wings man i'm gonna i'm gonna bite the bullet on this on this two pack and not have one complain unless the, the articulation stinks but no looks great too i'm not gonna lie like the sword has sculpt to it his body is sculpted detailed pretty nice and then his face look at those teeth man i don't know what they're doing over there in hasbro but they're getting super clean with teeth and i love that you get the body armor super sick Rumor has it we were supposed to get a Rhino in the retro card, but since we don't have pictures of that, we do get the pictures of Lizard in the retro card. And this is a whole new sculpt. I'm sure there's some parts used, but this looks brand new to me. And I like this version of Lizard in comparison to the Builder figure because this one looks like it stands up straight. It won't have any floppiness. Um, super clean, I guess. This head sculpt is disgusting, though. I got to say, look at that. It looks gross. It looks like one of the Goombas from the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> But thankfully, we do get an alternate head with the tongue out. It looks more vicious. And this is the one I'm probably going to be putting on the figure. So I do look forward to getting at least two of these. And here's a secret. He has a bendy tail. You see those dots under the tail? That indicates that his tail is bendy. And you can see in the package that it's straight. And then in the promo shots of him standing there, the tail is curved. So that tail is definitely bendy. The Doc Ock and Silk 2-pack sort of underwhelming only because we already have these two figures the silk has some new parts but doc ock is the same thing just new paint app silk has i believe a new head sculpt and it looks good honestly i don't have the silk fan version yet the fan vote version i have the only the original one but i might pick this up only to have this silk honestly i don't know if they all come out at the same time i might leave this on the shelf then we have a Homecoming 2-pack. Yes, Homecoming from the first Spider-Man movie from this franchise. And I'll, I don't know. I'll say about time, I guess. I wanted to see Ned in a Spider-Man mask. I don't really care for this. Honestly, I don't collect too many MCU figures, but I do want Ned. I don't care for Peter. Peter doesn't look too great. But Ned looks cool, and I wouldn't mind having that on my shelf. But again, this is something that if all these figures come out at the same time, I may leave these on the shelf. But I have a feeling that Ned is going to go up in price if you don't get him when he comes out so i would recommend you guys to pick up this two pack of peter and ned my favorite from the reveals has to be these figures here this is why i made an edited picture i like it shout out to mr lee because he makes the greatest pictures but this is awesome and i can't wait to get these guys great reveal from hasbro pulse i look forward to seeing these i know some people some collectors already have some of them in their hands to review i wonder why i can't get one like I'm the Spider-Man guy. You can't give me one. Like, give me Ned. Give me some. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it would have been cool to have one of these guys to reveal for you guys. Uh, maybe I just need to be more in tune with my YouTube channel. But nonetheless, I do look forward to picking these up. Let me know in the comment section which one do you want the most. Which one do you think is the best. Which one do you think is the worst. What they could have done better. I know you guys say that Venom has the toe feet and you guys wanted to see regular flat feet and i get it that that works too but that's not hard to modify so i'm not you know i don't really care about that but i like all these figures and until i get them in my hand i can't really tell you anything else about them but i will be reviewing all of them if i do get them and let me know in the comment section guys if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more videos like this feel free to give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button click that notification bell of course and i'll see you again in another video appreciate it you choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right?